in prosperity and in adversity, for their honorable procreation of children, for their training, for their training in love and obedience to the Lord. Into this holy bond, these two persons are now willing to enter. Therefore, if anyone knows of any just cause why these two may not be lawfully joined in marriage, let him now speak.
honor her and keep her. In sickness and in health. And for saving all child, keep on her as long as we want to shall live. If it is so, say amen. Amen.
who will soon answer unto your hands. At the head of this family, I ask that Lord, what it takes to be a father, what it takes to be an excellent master. I pray, Father, for all these achievements. This very time in the North Sun now, in Jesus' name. May you receive that praise in the name of Jesus. You will need a lot of wisdom to lead the family. I ask for wisdom from my bed this very time in the name of Jesus. May you receive that. May knowledge abound for you. May you understand what it takes to lead the family. Father, because your son is human, I pray that in the weakness, Lord, that will be meditating against this marriage. I pray you for a time. I ask for a full strength from my back, Lord. Let it be his portion, Lord. And let this be the time, Lord, day by day. May you be his teacher, Lord. May you be his guide. Even as I pray, Father, my weather on your hands, Lord. The Father God, you make her a unique wife. A wife the Father will be able to lead the family that you will bless them with. A wife the Father will be an excellent helpmate. An example of wife is what father will ask of your daughter to be. I pray the father needs her time. As your people have laid hands on her, that her womb be open now in the name of Jesus. Pray the father this womb be open now in the name of Jesus. I pray the Lord you will lay hands. These two ones again, Lord, and make them unique and make them examples, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you will not leave them off of sin as your word has told them, Lord. Whenever they come to the cross, Lord, when they lift up a prayer, Lord, your prayer and answer, Lord, may you answer them, Lord.
Just give it. So I said, oh, everything that you have said, you have come to 
what you have said. Listen to your husband. She felt that her husband was not spiritual and she was more spiritual than all of that. I said, listen to your husband. She looked at me like, what? But I didn't quote the scripture, I just said, listen to your husband. Based on the word of God, the Holy Spirit prompted me. Now, a few months later, about three or four months down the line, I found out from the lady that when she went and listened to the husband, but the Bible says, submit to your husband, ask the Lord. Her marriage was rekindled. You know? Her and her husband were united. They started praying together. And the husband's faith that had been locked up for many years was released in that time. You see what happens when you apply the word of God. I'm sure when I told her at the beginning, she probably thought, oh, he doesn't deserve it. But, and, and what a waste of time. But when you apply the word of God, it went for them. So please apply the word of God. Hallelujah. The second sentiment that God has prescribed for us as we move on is transparency. Tell you about the transparent in the marriage. <laughs> the Bible says that Adam in Genesis chapter 2, verse 25, Adam and his wife were naked and they were not ashamed. Adam and his wife were naked. Naked means transparency. Now, we all know that your sexual organs is one of the most intimate, or possibly the most intimate part of your body. So if you can be naked sexually, why can you not be naked financially? Am I making sense? Yeah, if everything can see the most sensitive part of you, why hide your finances? Why hide things about your health? So in the same way to be naked financially, be naked financially, be naked about things about your health. As a man, and I speak from a personal perspective, sometimes some as men, it's tempting that when you get good news, you tell your wife. When it's not so good, you want to hide it and, and, and just absorb it. She's your wife, not your daughter. She can handle it. So take everything. She can handle it. She's not a baby, she's a wife. If women can go through childbirth, you think she can handle that situation? Am I making sense or not? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many years, and you still be in your heart. 
And it will never happen the way they could have. Another one. This is me, I won't change. I won't change. You married me, you did this of me. You stay there. Even God, He calls us, the, He loves us the way we are. But when you become a Christian, the subject of sanctification, even God wants you to change. Let alone you and me. So I to say, I hear especially for the young people, well, He you knew that this is how it was. Even God says change. God have mercy on us. Another part of good communication or talking is this. Listening is more productive than speaking. Many of us don't know this, but we know what we're going to apply. Because we always want to have our say and, and be right, prove our point. But I've come to learn to the word of God in Proverbs chapter 8, 18 verse 2. The Bible says that fools have no interest in understanding. They only want to add their own opinions. I never knew those in the Bible. <laughs> so if you always want to speak and not listen, the Bible calls you a I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, listening is more productive than speaking. So please bear that in mind. Always be quick to listen, but and be slow to speak. And you know, listen to understand. And I believe that as you do that, you will be both be happy. Let's move on, please. The fourth benefit is this, thankfulness. Not towards God, yes, you found love for God, but towards your in-laws. This is very important. I was going to put this last, but I decided to bring it forward because it's, it's more important than we realize. Unfortunately, in my generation, we think that when you marry someone, you're only marrying the man or the woman. All the married couples will tell you that, it doesn't work in marriage. So if you are here, you have that mindset that, yeah, I've got my man, that's it. You wait till you marry. When you marry someone, you are marrying their entire family, their parents and their siblings. Can we see Sam's parents standing up, please, and Ellis' parents? Can you be not for me, please, before you meet Mommy Daddy? Let's go. Mommy Daddy, before we meet Sam. Before we meet Sam. Let's come on, you can do it better. You have done very well. You have done very well. that you can sit down. Thank you very much for your meeting. Now, some of you, during your three-year degree at university, remember the sleepless nights and the times that you were crying? They have been raised children for almost 30 years. They deserve an applause. I thank you very much. Love them, appreciate them, treat each other's parents like your own biological parents. When they want to visit, you don't say, Oh, the parents are always coming to the house, man. <laughs> give us, tell them to give us space. See, my wife, my wife's family, they talk like almost every day. And I'm, that's their culture. If I married them, they were doing that. And I'm fine with it. I'm not going to say, Oh, your mother's always calling you. Tell it to me. No. See, some families have certain cultural dynamics or things that they've been doing for so many years. Tolerate it. Make room for that. And each other, vice versa. Make room for your parents. Let me just say this. No matter their weaknesses, all of them like your biological parents. No matter their weaknesses and imperfections, the things that they may do that you may not like, trust me, overlook it. And honor them like you do your biological parents. And I'll tell you why. Honoring your in-laws brings special blessings. Your in-laws, it's not just your family for your parents. Yes, I'm talking about your in-laws. See, your in-laws have got these blessings that when you honor them, they will release on you and will enhance your marriage. Let me give an example. In the book of, uh, in the book of Ruth, you all know the story about Naomi. Now, for those of you who don't know, Naomi was this lady that had a husband and two sons. And in the course of time, her husband died. In the course of time, not long after, some 10 years later, her two sons died. So she had nothing. Let's be honest. If Naomi is your mother-in-law, you'll be tempted to run away from her. Do you know why? She's bad now. There is death around her. Everybody around her is dying. So it, it makes sense to keep your distance from her. She's got links and connections 
that you put it in the right way. See? Come wait for that coming to clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. See, that's why all the difficulties that Naomi was going through. She had links to make Ruth's life the best. It helped Ruth to fulfill her destiny. I'm not making sense. So never have this day for your in-laws. No matter the weaknesses, no matter the unfortunate events surrounding them. Always honor them.
to bless him as executive, especially our father who is here, Apostle Mite Kujani. We want to say that the God will truly bless you. We want to come home to the UK. We want to especially thank our dear father, profound gratitude to our national head of the Church of Pentecost UK, Apostle Dr. Abraham Lord Elu Donko. Yes. He's, he's taking us as his children, praying for us, counseling us, calling us. We want to say that in my God bless you. And you're a good executive. We also want to thank all the area heads. I can see Apostle Baby Crunchings here. We also want to thank our dear father, Apostle Edmond Akia is also here. We also want to thank Apostle Abraham Asa, my own area head. Yes. God bless you for being here. We also want to thank our National Secretary, Apostle Pierre Rufre Pompe, who is also here. Apostle Michael Tene, who is here. This is an international wedding. So we bless you all for your support and for your presence. We also want to especially thank all the time ministers who are here. Yes. And their wives. I know my own father and grandfather, retired prophet Peter Bafo, appeared here. When he heard this, he said, I'll come all the way and support you. And God bless you. I also want to bring out sincere thanks to all, once again, our area heads, I can see, sorry, our retired ministers, Apostle Sam is here. He said, Sam, don't worry, I'll be the first person to be here. And indeed, he's here. So that you want to say may God wish to bless you. I can see my father's wall is also here. So thank you all the time ministers. Those watching online, virtually, we want to say God wish to bless you all. We also want to thank all the ministers. What shall we say? What you have done for my wife and I and my family? We are indeed grateful to you all. Traveling all the way from far and near to come and support us. We are very grateful. We also want to especially thank the National Women's Ministry, Conkron. Yes, led by our very own Mama Monica Plans and the team. We want to say that God will bless you. We are very, very, very grateful. And now to our pastor, wife, born and the family. We want to say that God bless you. My wife, very, very own buddy, buddy. Yes, may God bless you. We also want to thank also as well my former district pastor, Pastor Emmanuel Achiman and the wife, they've always supported us. And when they were moving, they said, Sam, this wedding, I'll also be the second person to be here. And they are here indeed. We also want to thank my district, Piccadilly Piano DC District. Whether you are the first or the last, 
will show you the sweet power. So that may God bless you. My mom, the Knesset Margaret, who is here for our own house first lady, a woman of prayer, always on her knees praying for us. It is my prayer and all you have done for my wife and I. May God richly bless you. And also I want to thank my siblings, Dr. Emmanuel Lucy Eboa, Eunice, Clifford, Jessica, Dr. came on the way from Ghana. He said, he's a dentist, but he left everything that he had to do and came down to support us. Dr. May God bless you. And also my uncle is here. He came all the way from the United States, Ohio. Bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And your family. I, I know my aunties, cousins, they are all watching online. We want to say, may God bless you. And I want to especially thank my very own grandfather, Apostle Samuel. I'm so retired. And Mama Cecilia, I know they are watching virtually. I want to say, may the good Lord bless you. And in your retirement, may you continue to grant you grace and abundance. Hallelujah. And now to my in-laws. Yes. Thank you for giving me this beautiful. Outstanding wife. I want to promise you that I'm going to love her. I'm going to cherish her. And we are going to grow old together. And also these have fun and everybody who is here to support us. I want to say may God wish you bless you. Those watching online, those present, those that we know, those that we don't even know, when they saw the flyer, they said they want to be here to support us. Yes, I want to say may God bless you. Overseer is here all the way from Holland. My own brother, Albert Martin Cry is here from Holland. May God bless you. I want to bless each and every one. I want to say, as you go back, may the Lord who has sustained Mr. and Mrs. Osiwa, may He pass the way for you. And whoever is here who is open and praying that God will open such a great door like this, may the Lord open the door for you as well. And may you have a testimony in the name of Jesus. And finally, I want to also thank Pastor Ajiman. Sorry, Apostle Ajiman, may you retire. Yes, we want to say that you may God bless you. My wife and I are grateful. And on this note, I also want to especially thank my beautiful wives. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's very outstanding and very good to my heart. Yes, I want to say, as for you, I will thank you tonight.
adore you and thank you for everything that you have lavished on us today. Thank you for the life of our dear brother and sister. We also thank you for those who put them and prepared them for this ceremony. We want to thank you for the organizers and all who have put in something to make this program successful. We want to thank you for the officiating ministers and thank you to every single person who has come to support and to bring this program to a successful end. Even as we live this time, we can beat our lives into the lands. We pray for trying blessings that you will carry us on your wings and put all of us in your armpit and put us to our homes safely. We pray especially for our brothers and sisters who are proud to come to the Liverpool, Friday, and all other places who will be traveling by any other means. And your gracious eye will grant them still to our world. And when we are met again, either at a wedding session or in our churches, we we'll have every option to give you the proofs. May your name supply be exalted now and forever. Amen. So, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the blessings of the Lord continue to remain with you. And may the peace of God that transcends all human understanding be with you now and forevermore. Go in peace. Amen.